Jesus, thank you so much for that report. And according to EPISD, the closures of these schools will happen in phases. Phase one of these closures will happen in 2025, while phase two will happen in 2026. Students from these eight schools will be moved to what the district refers to as sister schools. Today, we spoke to the El Paso Teachers Association, who tells us that there's concern for some teachers that they will not have their job once these closures take place. You know, so some of the sister schools that these kids are going to go to are actually um, what would be considered by the state failing schools right now because their scores are not where they need to be. One of the schools is uh, Murphy, um, and that school right now is going to be going uh, going through a, the district calls it a re a redesign. Uh, in reality, what it is is it's a reconstitution of the campus. Um, because it is a failing campus. Now, while it's unclear what's going to happen to teachers and staff from these closing schools, in October, EPISD Superintendent Diana Saavedra said that they were committed to being transparent with their staff about their employment. It's also important to note that the EPISD board recently approved a $500 one-time payment to its employees hired on or before November 1st. The extra pay will be distributed on December 13th as part of the district's efforts to, quote, recognize and reward the hard work of its employees.